Uh, Mr. Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, the education ministerial seat has for 17 years been held by Sinn Féin, and I'm sure you will agree that that is 17 years too long. Ladies and gentlemen, education in Northern Ireland is certainly not as good as it gets. The Ulster Unionist Party has a number of priorities which we want to see in the next programme for government. The guiding principle behind these is our desire to set Northern Ireland on a course to create a single state education system. This would fulfil the vision of the first and the last Ulster Unionist Education Ministers, Lord Londonderry in 1921 and Basil McIver in 1974. If shared education is a vehicle to create that single system, we will support it. However, there are questions about the detail of this policy and its sustainability, which we will be pursuing over the next few months. With all the current talk of sharing and integration in education, there are equality issues which we will demand a resolve to our satisfaction in any post-election negotiations on a new programme for government. We have debated motions and raised questions on fair employment and teaching posts and the requirement for an RE certificate to work in Catholic maintained primary schools. Can I remind members that today, in 2015, it is still perfectly legal to recruit teachers on the basis of their religious beliefs? This practice does not happen in controlled schools, which fall under education authority employment legislation. The Catholic maintained sector insists that they do not discriminate on the basis of religion. But the fact is they can and are perfectly entitled to in law. So much for equality and fair employment. In terms of the insistence that teachers are applying for jobs in Catholic maintained primary schools obtain a specific RE certificate, this is a freedom of conscience issue which is indefensible in a modern society. And yet Minister O'Dowd has sat on his hands for four years on both these issues. I believe we need an executive commitment and a new programme for government to rid the fair employment exemption from teacher appointments and deal with the discriminatory requirement for teachers working in the maintained sector to obtain a Catholic RE certificate. In, in terms of major expenditure by the Department of Education, I believe the programme for government must commit to ensuring it is subject to robust business cases to guarantee money is not wasted. Already money has been wasted and it was the Ulster Unionist Party who highlighted the scandalous situation where the Minister went against the official advice to establish an Irish language secondary school near Dungiven. This is a vanity project which does not stack up on economic or sustainability grounds and will, in its first year, uh, run up an estimated £100,000 deficit, all for a projected first year intake of 14 pupils. Finally, a Finally, ladies and gentlemen, a new programme for government must contain a commitment to resolve the current impasse on post-primary transfer. The vacuum which was left when the 11 plus was scrapped has been filled with two non-state exam systems. And the three to four week intensive period of Saturday morning exams is soon to begin for many of our 10 to 11 year olds. The current ad hoc system is far from ideal and surely can lead to the creation of a grammar system which is not truly reflective of all children's natural ability. We want to see a single, step, single test reinstated to allow for a solution to be hammered out over a two year period based on teacher guidance and continual assessment at primary level. A commitment to resolve this must be a key part of the education section of a new program for government. Members, to conclude, the future of Northern Ireland is our children. Ulster Union's policy is to nurture and educate our children together, to focus on each individual, not judging on how clever they are, but rather analysing how they are clever, to provide them with the best education to enable each child to excel, developing skills in preparation for their chosen career, enabling them to contribute to a better, stronger Northern Ireland. I support the motion.